Hey there, Scorpios. Uh, welcome back for another reading. Uh, this is for the general collective here for the sign of Scorpio. We're tapping into your energy to see how does your person currently feels about you. This is whoever is pulling at your energy, whoever you are energetically still tied to. Uh, you could be in separation or you could be with your person, but this is their energy currently towards you. Now, at the bottom of this deck, it's so weird. You have a strength card. <laughs> so for some of you Scorpios, you're dealing with the Leo here. Uh, your Leo may be looking at you like you're holding back from them. Your Leo could be looking at you like you are standing in your power. Your Leo may be looking at you like you need some courage here. Uh, but this is your overall energy, Scorpio, of how your person feels about you, which is the strength card here. Ooh, the strength card. I heard that shit. Leo showing out in here. Ooh, y'all check out the Leo reading because that's the same card that started off for Leo. It's the strength card here. All right, Spirit. Show me the Scorpio's person. How does Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio in this current energy spirit? Show me Scorpio. How does Scorpio's person currently feel about Scorpio in this current energy spirit? Show me Scorpio's person spirit. How does Scorpio person feel about Scorpio? Ooh, they feel like you cold-blooded. They feel like you holding back from them because you mean you mean. You ain't playing no games. <laughs> They say you got your back turned to them and you ain't you holding back from them and that you ain't playing no games with them. You're making head over heart decisions where your person is concerned and you ain't playing no game. This is how your person view you, Scorpio. Ooh. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio's person. How does Scorpio's person feel about Ooh, okay. Wheel of Fortune here. <laughs> so... Your person may be feeling like this is fate, this is destiny, or that the luck is not on their side where you are concerned because they feel like, shit, you won't give them a break. <laughs> you holding back from them. You going to ask them questions. You cold. You distance. You'll listen to them, but it's not emotionally charged. And this is what they, this is, this person probably feel like they having a bit, the worst of luck with you right now, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio's person. How does Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio, Spirit? Show me for Scorpio's person. How does Scorpio feel about Scorpio, Spirit? Show me. Five of Pentacles. Your person feel like you leaving them in the cold here. You don't want them no more. And your person is feeling left out of your life because they feel like they can't get a break with you. <laughs> They feel like you done left them out your life, Scorpio. You done turned your back. You holding back. And they just feel like they can't get a break with you. See, they say you ain't saying nothing. They say you ain't saying nothing because you holding back. You keeping silent from them. You ain't speaking. You quiet. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Spirit. One more card for Scorpio's person. Your person could be a Pisces, a Taurus here, a Taurus, a Leo. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. One more card for Scorpio person. Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. See? They say you doing good. You single, abundant. You getting that paper. Look, at the bottom of the deck, you got the king of swords here. <laughs> so this person is serious about you. This person wants to talk to you, I feel like. But they may be looking at you like you ain't got time for them now, Scorpio. They say you get in that bag, you single, you abundant, you confident, and you ain't got time for them. And for some of y'all, for some of your person, Scorpio, they may feel like you get in that bag and you feel like you they beneath you now. <laughs> Let's clarify. Now check it out underneath the bottom of my clarified deck. You have the six of cups. <laughs> so this is a soulmate of yours, Scorpio, who is thinking about you. Honey, I'm just saying. Somebody who want to come back to you. So let's find out this five of pentacles. Clarify the five of pentacles for Scorpio's person. Five of pentacles is clarified by the four of wands. This your twin flame right here. Ooh. They said, how could my soulmate Scorpio do me so cold? They feel left out of your life. They feel like you don't want no relationship with them, but they feel so spiritually connected with you, yet you on your grind. You ain't... They say you ain't got time for them now, Scorpio. You all bad and bougie now. Ooh, and all they want to do is start some type of relationship with you. Clarify the four ones. Clarify this four ones for this five of pentacles. 
Ooh, snap. Two of cups, see? <laughs> your person feel like you just don't care about your person feel like you don't love them no more, Scorpio. Your person feel like you don't love them no more. They feel like you doing your own thing. You getting that bag. You beautiful. You confident. You self-made. And you done left them. You done kicked them to the curb while you living your best life. Ooh, clarify this two of cups. I told you this is so much. You got the four of ones and the two of cups. Clarify the two of cups. Two of cups is clarified by the seven of pentacles. See, this person say you're no longer invested into them. You left them out. <laughs> they say you ain't invested in them no more, Scorpio. You're invested in yourself in this nine of pentacles. And they can't understand that add insult to injury. Not only are you looking beautiful and, and confident in getting that bag, you ain't saying shit. They don't know what's going on in your life. All they know is they not a part of it because they know you're holding back from them because you're not talking. Clarify the high priestess for Scorpio's person. Huh? High priestess is clarified by the devil. And this person feels like you're not talking to them no more because they were, they were very, very toxic and karmic for you. And, and, and you don't need no problems with them because this is why you're holding back from them to begin with. For some of you Scorpios, you're dealing with a Capricorn here, a Pisces here, but you feel like, no, you either, 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 either your person is saying that you're not talking to them because they were attached to somebody else or because they had such a, a toxic lifestyle that it was pulling you down. So you had to get away from them. And this is why you're talk, not talking to them. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil for the high priestess for Scorpio's person. The devil is clarified by <laughs> the king of pentacles. So some of y'all dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And they looking at you like, damn, Scorpio won't even talk to me because Scorpio know that I'm about that money. Scorpio know I'm addicted to the paper. I'm about the material world right now. And Scorpio ain't got time. So since, since I was focused on the material world and, and didn't have time for Scorpio, now Scorpio is focused on a uh, material world and Scorpio ain't got time for me in this five of pentacles because Scorpio ain't investing no more love with this two of cups. They say you ain't investing love in them, Scorpio. Ooh, clarify the king of pentacles. King of pentacles. See, <laughs> five of pentacles. I told you. Didn't I just say that? See, they feel like you done left them out in the cold because they did you like that one time. I feel like because <sighs> you leaving them out in the cold with this other five of pentacles is because they left you out. Because when you wanted them, they was too busy obsessing over this, this image, this money, this getting this money. So you had to pull your energy back. And now they feel, they feel exactly how they left you feeling. Now they feel left out of your life. Ooh. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio's person. Nine of pentacles is cleared about, cleared about, <laughs> clarified by six of swords. They say you done moved away. You done, some of y'all done moved away. Y'all done traveled and moved to another city. You done relocated. Don't even live at the same residence no more. You done moved on and you focusing on getting that bag. You don't want no static. You don't want no progress while you moved away from the devil energy. Clarify the six of swords for this nine of pentacles. See? Huh? And for some of y'all, y'all moved on to another relationship here. That's, that's very, very emotionally fulfilling here. <laughs> this is how this person feels. And, and for some of y'all, this, this person feels like they want to come to you in this nine of pentacles energy. They want you because they want a relationship with you, but they want peace between you. They don't want no static here. And they're static because both of y'all, they left you feeling out in the cold. Now you feel left, left them feeling out in the cold and they don't want no problems no more. They want, they want, they want a relationship now. Um, and for some of y'all, your person feels like you have moved on and you in a relationship with someone else. Clarify this 10 of cups. And for some of y'all, your person looking at you like you getting that bag and you done moved on and bought you a house. Shit, you ain't stuck now. But you stuck though. Stuck though. Somebody stuck though. Clarify this eight of swords. Eight of swords is clarified by the five of pentacles. 
but they feel like they're, I feel like, oh, now either they're saying you feel regretful here. You got the ace of pentacles because they didn't get a new beginning with you. Like, I feel like they expected, I feel like Scorpio expected for this person to do this, give some type of new abundant beginning, especially if they coming off as the king of pentacles, but instead they probably left Scorpio out in the cold. So your person is regretting this. Now, either your person is stuck on you now because they're regretting, they're regretting this. They're stuck on you. Like I said, this is like the same energy like the, like the Leo reading is with the exception of a few cards here. This person is feeling like you've moved on in another relationship, but now they're stuck on you and they're regretting it because now you done moved on. Shit. You done moved on. You done had no choice but to move on now. So clarify strength card for Scorpio's person. Why is strength here? Strength card is clarified by the nine of swords here. So like I say, this person feels like you're holding yourself back from them and they feel like you're you overthinking things too much. They feel like all you need to do is just go with the flow, but instead you overthinking. They said, typical Scorpio, you up all night thinking about me and things and, and intentionally holding yourself back because of your thoughts. If you get out your head, because <laughs> you over here in the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Clarify this Nine of Swords for strength. Look. You in your head about your past life relationship, about this person coming back to you. And for some of y'all, this person feel like you're 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 uh, confused and you're worried and stressing about, about your person coming back to you or you going back to them. This is why you're holding yourself back from them. Ooh, but that's your soul, man, honey. You got the six of cups, the four of wands, and the freaking two of cups with this person, Scorpio. Ooh, clarify the six of cups for strength. Six of Cups is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Six, six. So your person feels like you're holding back from them intentionally because you're overthinking things because of things that happened in the past between y'all and maybe they were given somewhere else. So this is why your person feels like you're holding back from them. And like I said, with this Devil card and the King of Pentacles, they probably feel like you were given to somebody else. Scorpio probably felt like whoever they person is was given somewhere else here. So this is why you're holding yourself back and you're in this queen of swords energy towards them because you're not even talking to them and they know this here. Ooh, clarify this queen of swords for Scorpio. Why is this queen of swords here? Clarify this queen of swords for Scorpio. Scorpio's person. Clarify this queen of swords for Scorpio's person, please. Queen of Swords, see? The Tower card, see? <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of the same cards here. And then it could have been for another reason. I don't know. So this is something happening that you don't see coming here. This is an epiphany, uh, something that was not stable and solid, so the spirit had to take it down. And I feel like this is why the Queen of Swords energy is showing up because you don't want no more tower cards. You don't want no more uh, pop-ups. You don't want no more surprises with this person. So you're you're treating them with a long spoon handle or long sword handle because you don't want no more surprises out their ass. Scorpio, uh, Scorpio, clarify the tower card for the Queen of Swords. Some of y'all dealing with the Aries. Nine of Cups here. <sighs> Somebody, but I feel like, I feel like then, since the Nine of Cups is here, this Queen of Swords does not see happiness coming. <laughs> she going to talk all this shit. She's going to make a head over heart decision, but you got love that's about to come to you. Something that's going to make you happy. And, and you playing hard to get you holding yourself back from this relationship. You doing all these things, but you got something that's coming your way that's going to make you happy though. Clarify this nine of cups. See? Judgment. <laughs> 
your person wants you back. You already see the six of cups and you don't even see this coming here. You don't see something that's going to make you happy. And I feel like the only reason why you holding yourself back from this person is because deep down you in love with them, but you scared. And it's nine of swords. You're afraid of the same stuff happening with them. And so this is why I feel like you're intentionally withdrawing your energy, your emotions from this person, and you're treating them in a more wiser, mature, serious energy, this queen of swords energy. And you're intentionally holding back because ultimately I feel like you're in love with this person too. You know you are with this two of cups. I don't care what you say. I'm just, I'm just saying Two of Cups, there's an equal love between the two of you. There's a strong spiritual connection because you guys are soulmates. You got the Six of Cups, you got the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. I'm just saying. Now this Wheel of Fortune. Now your person may be hoping that you have changed your mind. You're not still holding back from them. You're still not blocking them and not talking to them and all those things because they're trying to come back. Now, so clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio's person. Will of Fortune is clarified by the Knight of Swords. So somebody's trying to rush into you. I feel like some this person wants to come into you. Now, this person could be a little bit younger than you here. Clarify the Knight of Swords. It's like they finna go for this Knight of Swords here. Three of Cups. See, they finna try to come back and get this reunion with you. They're trying to come back and reunite. And then with, uh, with the strong spiritual connection, they haven't been able to find anyone to hang out in that type of energy that you guys have here. So the Eight of Cups here. This person's trying to re reconnect with you after somebody walked away. Clarify the Eight of Cups. See? The Star card. See, they come. I tell y'all, I need to check out Leo's reading. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here. You could be dealing with <laughs> a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with um, a Pisces, a Capricorn here. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. This is your person coming back in to heal things with you here. They're trying to come back in and patch things up with you because this is your soulmate, but they feel like you blocking them. They feel like you don't love them no more. They feel like you done left them out in the cold like they left you out in the cold because they was chasing their money and all of the things that come with chasing their money in that devil energy. So now you're blocking them. You're, you're intentionally holding yourself back even though you're stressing out about them. And the reason why you're overthinking things is because you're in love. You know you ain't going to give it a second thought if you didn't care. So I feel like you've adopted this Queen of Swords energy to guard yourself because low-key, you may feel like your emotions may be vulnerable towards this person here. But they in love with you, but they feel like they, they feel like you don't love them no more. And all they want to do is just come in and just start over with you. Just come in and look. They want to come in and start over with you with this Ace of Cups. See, I told you they in love with you. This time they want a relationship with you with that Four of Wands energy and this higher feeling, this Ace of Cups. They want a relationship this time, Scorpio. Look, and they choose you. You're their lover. They See, I told you this is a strong spiritual connection between the two of you here. This is a soulmate connection here. But I feel like it had to break up uh, in in order for the healing to come in. And an awakening too with this judgment card. But this person is in love with you, Scorpio. It could be a it could be a Pisces, it could be a Gemini, it could be another water sign here. They're in love with you and they choosing you this time. If they chose other things and other people dealing with money and getting money, they're, they're leaving all that out. They coming for you, honey. This person is in love with you. Whoever your person is, they're in love with you and they're trying to come back to you if you let them. Now, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Now, if this video resonates, please thumbs up this video. Uh, share this video. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll talk to you on the next collective Scorpio video. Bye Scorpio.